guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be talking about i know finally we're going to be talking about how to use some of git's basicest commands so over here we'll start off the video and i'll go over this little quick little list i put up with oh there oh yeah so if you look to the right i have a little a PDF that I made. So here are some of uh, Git's basic and uh, really useful commands. So let's go through the list. We have git config, and as you can see, the bulleted points it says git config dash global username, uh, blah blah blah. All this mumbo jumbo, right? But basically, what username it's saying that it's your setting, it's your identity in a sense. So if you look over here to the left, um, you can see that's uh, my uh, GitHub page. And you can see I have my name, and right below it, in this line over here, it is my username. So yeah, that's my username, and that's just my like my my profile name. So what we're doing over here with git config, we're basically telling git what our name is. We're telling git what our name is, and then essentially this is going to be the same thing for user dot email. You're going to want to put your email. That's uh, um, link to your github account or it could be git bucket or whatever you use and essentially this is how we are going to tell it who we are just so we can match who we are it doesn't have to be but I, I mean might as well just I mean it's you right so moving down the list we got git init uh, used to initialize a git repository just what it means it's uh, you're telling the computer that this is a dot git file um, I mean, well, not .git file. This is uh, it's basically going to create a .git file, and it's basically telling you the repository that it is uh, a Git repository. And then we have a Git clone, which is basically going to take an existing repository and put it onto your machine. So now, what Git add does? Git add stages your files that you've changed, removed, or added uh, to your repository that's been initialized through Git. And it stages, it's the beginning of pushing this onto your Git repository. Very important. Then after it's staged through git add, then we can do the following command such as git commit. And git commit is basically telling you that, okay, so I'm doing these changes and uh, I'm ready, I'm satisfied with what I did, and now I want to save it. That's basically what it's doing, right? You're, you're committing that to that save as opposed to um let's say you don't want to commit it then you're not committing you're not committed to it but okay so you're basically putting it you're putting it out there right and then uh, get status is basically gonna give you the status of your working directory of the things that's going on and finally get push is the what is going to be used in order to push all the changes after you added files, modified files, removed files, and then you uh, uh, committed those changes, then you're going to be using git push in order to uh, push those push those to the repository, to the remote repository, uh, such as uh, GitHub or Git Bucket, um, GitLab. So yeah, so now let's uh, let's uh, open up a terminal. Up. So yeah, I opened up a terminal over here, and now let me enlarge this. I'm going to be keeping the git commands uh, to the right, so you can reference them if you want to read what it is, what I'm doing again. I'm going to go over it. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first step we're going to want to do is, uh, first we want to establish where we want to house our local repository. So to start, I always usually like to start off with the basic command of ls. And if you're not familiar with what ls is, ls is simply listing all the contents of your working of your uh, working directory. So if I type ls and hit enter, it's going to show me everything that's in my pwd. Now pw pwd is print working directory. So we're going to print what directory I'm in. Right there, it tells me I'm in users slash Jonathan Banda. So in Jonathan Banda, I hit ls and it shows me all of my things. So now I like to work through my desktop. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd, which is change directory. So I'm going to change directory into my desktop. So I just type in desktop how it is. If you have spaces, uh, uh, simply just do uh, parentheses and type whatever you have to type and in your space. 
but since desktop does not have any spaces I'm gonna go with CD desktop and now that we're in desktop always clear it much nicer uh, next thing we're gonna do is again LS oh I got a little bit of clutter no worries on my desktop I am going to do a new file right so I'm gonna make a new directory so I'm gonna call it MK I'm just gonna call it MK so cuz we'll not call it MK uh, MK stands for make MK make and then we're gonna make a directory so dir and then we're gonna give it a name so we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna call this uh, let's give it something like git we're gonna be using git so git practice so we'll do underscore and then we'll do practice and just for my sake I'm gonna do git practice with a capital P and we created a new directory so now we are not in the directory keep in mind if I do PWD we are in users Jonathan Banda slash desktop so in order to get into um, our git practice I'm gonna copy and paste this name up here and I'm gonna go CD because we want to change into this new directory that we created in our desktop because we are in desktop so all I'm gonna simply do is I'm gonna go CD and I'm gonna hit git practice or whatever you decided to make your git repository again this is just a tutorial you whatever you want to name it you name it and wherever you want to save it you save it so we're gonna go change directory into git practice now let's make sure this work we do PWD you can see that we are in users Jonathan Banda desktop git practice so now we are in git practice let's clear this out and we'll list what's in git practice nothing's in git practice if you don't believe me I'll pull up finder real quick and I'll go to desktop and I will find git practice git practice there's nothing in git practice as you can see so we'll just move this to the side and let's continue now keep in mind this first command you do not need to be in your git repository or the repository you want this is just uh, we're gonna do this once uh, you can always change it config and I know it's a little bit confusing but on the right hand side it seems like it's one dash but it's actually two dashes so we're gonna do a git config we're gonna do double dash and we're gonna do global and we're gonna do user dot name and we're just gonna want to do a little double quotation marks and we're gonna want to name it whatever your username is or whatever name you want to be identified as by all means and we're gonna go with an enter and as you can see it worked and now in order to check our changes we're just gonna hit the, the keyboard the one to go up let's just delete this really quick and we're just gonna run that like so and it's gonna print what my username is so my username is as I typed above it's now gonna be that I can change it I can just make it Jonathan and if I run the other command it's just gonna give me Jonathan but I have mine set to Jonathan Banda so I'm gonna leave it at Jonathan Banda so now we're gonna clear this and we're gonna want to configure our email address okay so get config get config and then we're gonna do a double double hyphens uh, global and then we're gonna want to do user dot email so then now that we got that now that we got that down we're gonna do double parentheses and we're gonna type an email so I'll just do your at and whatever your email is well, I guess I'll do email.com and you'll just run that and everything should be nice and set so now we're we're ready to move on so as you remember let's uh, go back into PWD and so we're now we're in our git practice okay, so we're gonna start off with a git that we a repository that we created through github we're gonna go back to our github account and so we're gonna go to github and we're gonna hit on this little on the top right side it's gonna be a little plus sign you're gonna click it and you're gonna want to do a new repository so we, like I said we can name it whatever we want uh, but for the sake I'll just do uh, I'll call it the same thing git practice and I like the capital uh, we're just gonna do it public we're not gonna add anything go back to our terminal all right so now we're just gonna go down here and we're gonna create a repository we're gonna let this run and everything should be nice and now we're gonna be welcomed with this message it's gonna be quick setup if you're done this kind of thing before then you know you're just gonna do that or here's a little helpful guide basically see uh, basically what we're going to be doing in the video so you can look through this really quick but the main thing we want to 
focus on is over here which is the HTTPS or SSH for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using HTTPS but just remember this uh, um, URL code is basically what connects uh, this repository to uh, git so so yeah, let's uh, let's jump right back into the terminal. Well, first things first, we are going to do git init, which is going to initialize our git repository. If I do not run git init, and let's just say git, oops, not that. Let's just say git add. It's going to say fatal, not a git repository because we're not a git repository yet. So we're going to do git init. We're initializing it. We're going to hit enter, and now it says initialized empty git repository in our working directory as you can see the dot git is in there so let's do clear and let's list so we have nothing in here uh, we can also do ls dash ls dash a i believe all and there you have it you have a, a dot two dots in the dot git file so if you want to remove the dot git all you have to do if you don't want to make it a git repository anymore you can just run rm and then do a dash r and do dot git and that should remove it but we're not going to remove it right now just a little FYI, we're gonna clear that out. And now that we have initialized it, we're gonna do some fun things, right? And we could do all this in, in GitHub, as I mentioned. First things first, we want a, a folder. And I know I could have done git clone, but uh, we'll touch up on that in a minute. So now I wanna add a folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new directory. So if you remember, make directory, and I'm just gonna call this test folder as such and we're gonna hit enter we're gonna hit ls confirm we have now a test folder on the top right hand side so now we're gonna clear this out let's add a file so let's just uh, ls look at it and it's gonna be test folder so now we're in test folder we can print the working directory just to make sure we're in test folder so now we're gonna want to add in order to create a file you can just run touch it's another command so touch and we're just gonna add a text file simple text file we'll call it exactly that text text file and we'll just call it dot tx so now that we created we have ls oops ls oops ls and now we have text file dot text so now let's uh, type something in so we're just going to use vi and if you're not sure what vi is vi is basically the command terminal text editor right so you know you know how sublime text is or pycharm netbeans it's all that but that's software this is um, uh, that's sort of like you know software packages um, you know you have a whole working uh, GUI going on this you're just doing it all in the terminal it's kind of uh, boring but it's 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 pretty quick so we're gonna do VI and here I'll just copy and paste this and I'll put it over there hit enter so now we're in VI and I know if you don't know what VI is going on I'll give you the quick rundown you're gonna hit I when you begin it well, not when you begin it, whenever you want to go insert. So we're going to hit I, and now we're in insert mode, as you can see in the bottom right and bottom left. Uh, we have insert. So now let's just say hello from the text file, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So now in order to save this, we're going to want to do escape, the escape key. And then we're going to want to hit shift, and then wherever, or where, just do a colon. Right, and so now we have look at the bottom left. Now we have a colon, and we're gonna want to do right and quit. So W is for right and Q is for quit. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna clear. Let's do get status, and let's see what that does. So remember, it checks the status of the working directory. So in the working directory, we have no commits yet. So we have nothing nothing right so we haven't really done anything besides uh, created a new uh, file thingy so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get get add now this is important we can do get add and we can just add everything all that our files have added or we can do add a specific file so uh, since i only have that i'll just do get add and i'll do a little start no no it's a period on my bed and it is going to add all of our files, any changes that we that we've made. So we're going to add it, and we're just going to clear this. Okay, so we are in. Let's see, we are in Git practice, our main folder. So now that we run Git stat, oops, status, and I cannot type Git status. So now we've added a new file, as you saw as I ran the uh, the Git, not F Git, as I ran Git 
and and I did the star just to add everything we had just because I mean we only did one one small we just added one file and you can see over here it says test folder and we have text file dot text so we could have added it separately and I'll show you just for the sake of the, vid uh, the video I'll do text file dot txt and that would uh, you know independently just add that file and whatever changes we've made to it so um, now that we've added it, it is uh, ready for commit. Okay, so now we'll follow along over here. Look to our right hand side. It says git commit. So we're gonna do git commit, and then we're gonna do a message. We're gonna do a message, and we're just gonna call this uh, added. What well, what we did, you know, added a new text file, just like that. You can give it a more meaningful description. And if you look over here to the right hand side, I, I have git commit a commits any files added. So that would simply just add all the files um, that have been committed. That just, yeah, that just adds all the files that have been committed, uh, records the files which show all its bitch changes. And that is another point that I'm going to be uh, going to. So yeah, that's what essentially it's going to be doing is just going to be keep track, keep track of our changes. So for this commit, that's what I did. So we're gonna hit enter, and now you can see over here it says master root commit added a new text file. One file changed, one insertion. So that just gives us what really what happened. So now we're just gonna clear this, or actually I won't clear it. So now we'll do git status, and it says on branch nothing to commit because we've uh, already committed whatever we've added. So now let's do git show, and git show is just gonna show us our sort of our history in a sense of what we've done. So as you can see over here, uh, test folder dash text file. And as you can see over here, added, the plus sign is gonna be add, added a new file, a new line. So hello from the text file. So indeed that is what exactly what we did. So we're just gonna clear this. So now that we have committed the changes and everything, you know, everything's good, everything's keep kept in track. Okay, so we're gonna do git, and then we're gonna add, do remote, and we're gonna add, the origin origin right and then we're gonna just remember copy and pasted the HTTPS of uh, the URL to our repository over here over this this whole thing and then we're just gonna hit enter just like that so everything works good and now let's just make sure so we're just gonna do git uh, remote and we're gonna do a dash V and so as you can see everything is all good and working so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna clear this out and we're gonna wanna now push it. So we're gonna do git push, we're gonna do a dash u origin and we're gonna do our master branch. And we're just gonna let that run and it's writing. And if you're wondering what origin and master is, origin is usually just the default. And as you can see, branch master is set up to track remote branch master from origin and uh, Master is just our master branch. We can create uh, different mass. Uh, we can create different branches. So just to show you this, I'll do git branch, and that's our master. To create a new branch, we can do git uh, branch, and then we just enter a name, so whatever you want, without the brackets. So I'll just do I'll do tree, right? We'll do enter, and then we just do. So um, yeah, then you just do git branch, and you can see master, and then it creates a new tree. Um, and then that's a whole other topic of uh, how you how you can uh, create these new branches and then uh, you can uh, to make pull requests and then all your whole team can look and review and then you know they decide or you know decide what gets to be merged into the master branch so yeah so now let's go into our uh, git practice and as you can see I had already hit refresh but basically yeah that's uh, pretty much what would happen is now you have your uh, test folder uh, you have your te the text file or whatever, any, anything you want. You know, it, you don't have to have folders. You can just have files. And we can see right here, just hello from the text file. And we can look at history and it'll, you know, describe our history. So, yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And if there's anything I miss or you don't understand, uh, leave a comment and I can definitely go over it or I can refer you to some uh, documentation on how to do, you know, what you need to do. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Oh, and also make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks.